Hey guys, it's John, your Tennessee flying farmer. Um, I was up till a little after three o'clock this morning and wow, anyway, back up at seven and I really need to be in the field planting wheat, but it's it was below freezing when I came in last night and it was still, it hadn't even got to 20 degrees this morning when I got out. So um, needless to say, I'm procrastinating on going out and greasing the equipment and getting it going this morning. It's this wind has been this cold wind has been brutal the last couple of days out in it for eight to ten hours straight so anyway i'm trying to make a little progress on this thing right now i'm working on the top window and getting the top window ribs drilled clico and that kind of stuff uh still working on my titanium thread and just a little bit as as time goes along but anyway uh, let's get started this guy's good now here's our farmer john humbred look at that oh my god that was good Whoa. Okay, I just finished drilling and clicoing the top window, or at least the sides of it where the top window ribs are. Um, you guys are all familiar with clicos. Something you may not be familiar with, or hopefully you are, but if not, these little things right here are called clico clamps. Um, if you're not familiar with them and don't have some, go ahead and do yourself a favor and buy you a set of 10 or whatever they come in. They're incredibly handy for this kind of stuff, you know, just clamping windows to, well, they're just sheet metal. They help you in pretty much any kind of sheet metal fabrication when it's this kind of stuff where you're trying to get things sandwiched together like that. So all I really like on the top window is drilling this back line of, for the uh, fasteners there along the back of it, it goes through the top skin just just forward of this big channel i'm kind of hesitant to do that at the moment i'm going to study on exactly how i want to approach that there's supposed to be a piece of cork that goes underneath it and then hole through the glass through the cork and through the the skin there um i, I want to seal this thing good anyway i'm hoping to take this window off again here in a bit so i can move forward some other stuff when i take it off i will need to trim trim the window to match there at the ribs i know it's not much but with that little bit being done i really i've got to get back to the wheat field so uh, i hope to get back in here at some point a little later today and make a tiny bit more progress i got some things in mind that i need to get done i've kind of been putting off um, anyway hope to see you guys again here in a bit Hey guys, I finally made it back into the shop. It is, well, it's been a long day and, uh, well, it's after midnight now, but I am back in here trying to get just a little bit done before I just completely poop out on you guys. Um, like I said yesterday, this old dude's kind of tired, but uh, I haven't started on it yet. I'm gonna try to make just a tiny bit of progress, but what I did do, um, I'm still learning on this titanium, but I do have a couple of rods that are threaded now so I've, I've that's good news because i've at least convinced myself it's possible um definitely some technique and a lot of cutting fluid involved but and like i said what i've kind of learned is when it starts getting warm enough to to make the cutting fluid start smoking just walk away and let it the whole business cool down just 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 walk away uh, anyway it's there i'm not sure how the longevity of the actual dye is going to be but I'm, I'm threading titanium, so I'm happy. So anyway, back to this. I'm gonna, my next step, and I'll tell you more about this tomorrow because I'm probably gonna give up on it before I get too far, but I'm gonna take the top window back off. I'm gonna take the windshield back off. And I've got, I'm gonna do a little more trim work to these pieces here, the trim, trim pieces. I'm gonna get those fit up just a little bit better. Um, well, I'll just show you real quick. So I've got just a little more trimming to do on these these actual window trim pieces. Uh, this one I custom made. It's the, I guess the factory setup is to leave this exposed and essentially this rubber piece comes all the way down to the corner. 
But I had, there's a little bit of flex in this and I thought, man, I, I want that sealed good. I don't want there to be any chance. So I want to be able to fasten it here because there's gonna be a lot of prop wind, prop wash coming right there. And um, like I said, I had to heat relieve mine just a little bit because mine was spread just a little bit wider than I like too. So I, I did go through and heat relieve all that and it fits really nicely without even fastening it now, but I want that secure. So anyway, on this piece especially, I wanna cut it back closer to there because I don't need that much of it overhanging past the fastener. And I've gotta get this end trimmed where it matches the other one. And that's where I am. I'm gonna to try to get it fit up where I can get the rubber to join there nicely. That's my next step. And I'll go into more detail like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow I hope to do my last very final welding on the chromoly cabin frame. Um, and I want to explain all this in better detail, but anyway, they're, they're the fastener screws that will go into the chromoly frame on the back side of this. This one goes all the way through a launcher on there. It's an aluminum doubler on the inside. Um, there's one spot right here in between the two that I need a hole that is not a hole. And I'll, I'll just have to get this apart and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. But anyway, there's a hole from the factory that's a little bit too large for the screws I'm wanting to use. So I'm going to weld that up and drill it and thread it to match the rest of these that I've already drilled. So long story short, that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to go ahead and at least try to get this stuff removed tonight. So maybe tomorrow I can just kind of fly in and get, get this stuff ready to weld and get fit up. And... Um, well, let me get a little bit of sleep so I can think clearly and I'll try to get this video put together for you guys and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. See ya.